We are going to be going live tonight at 10 p.m., so make sure that you're here for that. We're going to be talking about the SEC and a couple other big matchups, also talking about some betting lines. So if that's you, make sure you tune in. Kentucky head coach Mark Stoops calls for fans to give him money after their loss against Georgia. And honestly, in my opinion, it was kind of a slight to Georgia and Kirby Smart insinuating that Kirby Smart has to use money to get these players. And Mark Stoops is correct. In today's modern era of college football, players are getting paid. Now, with that being said, all the top tier teams in the country are doing that. So the values that Kirby Smart has is still what attracts those top tier recruits. Kirby Smart is one of the best recruiters in college football. He never stops. And his best recruiting campaign is whenever he can say, if you come to the University of Georgia, you are going to be the best football player that you can be. And if you do all the steps that I lay out for you, you have a shot to make the NFL if you are good enough. We've seen players barely get playing time at Georgia, get invited to the NFL uh, combine because of Kirby Smart's ability to cultivate talent. Don't get it mistaken. That's why players are going to Georgia. And I'm a Tennessee fan. I remember in the Pruitt era, whenever we got in trouble before NIL, for giving players money in bags, in McDonald's bags. Guess who one of those players was? Darnell Washington, big number zero who just went to the draft from Georgia. So the money alone is not going to get the players to your school. They have to believe in the program and what the head coach does as a leader and a cultivator of talent. Now, Drew, you're the Georgia fan. So what are your opinions on Mark Stoops saying that he needs more money to be able to compete in the SEC? Well, in a way, and he's not wrong. I mean, of course, it helps to have more money. I mean, you would, I think any coach would rather have more money than not have any money at all. So he's right in that regard. There was a better way he could have worded it, though, in a way where it didn't look like he was taking a shot at Kirby Smart because you nailed a spot on it. Yes, Georgia has money. Yes, Georgia can pay players a lot of money. But just look at what Kirby Smart's done in the past few years and how many players he sent to the NFL. That alone, with a lot of these players growing up with dreams of going to the NFL and seeing how Kirby Smart coaches uh, these players and how good and how much these players progress through Kirby Smart is going to be enough alone to get a lot of these guys to come to Georgia. All right, Kirby Smart, the way he coaches these players and the way he's able to get his team to rally behind him is something that players are looking for in a coach when they're trying to decide what college to play for. And you see it all the time. Uh, A lot of these guys know that they're going to go to the University of Georgia and have a chance. They're going to be competing with a lot of guys that are better than them or, you know, there's just going to be a bunch of competition. So it takes more than money to get a player to come to Georgia. I mean, they know that coming there, they're going to be going against the best. They're going to get the best coaching. And overall, they're just going to be going to the best program. And that's obviously proven by what Georgia's done the past couple of years. And even before the years when they made in the national championship games and all that, uh, Georgia was a legitimate top five program even before then. So historically speaking, uh, Kirby Smart is going to be able to recruit or he's been able to recruit and he's going to be able to continue to recruit money or not. Does Mark Stoops need money? Yes, he probably could use a lot of money. It's hard as anyone to try to get, you know, convince these top five, top 10 players and recruits that want to go to Kentucky to play football. But in a a certain way, you got to be able to have a program and a culture established that's going to have some kind of influence on what these players decide to do coming out of high school. Yeah, Drew, and when we're talking about Mark Stoops, as far as the SEC goes, has he done, in my opinion, the most with the least amount of talent comparatively? Yes. I think Mark Stoops is a great coach who can get wins with inferior talent. So this quote from me, it really rubbed me the wrong way because I like what Mark Stoops does at Kentucky. And in my opinion, like you mentioned, you have to have more draws for people to want to go to Kentucky. And by improving your team and having a running back go for 280 yards and, and, you know, your O-line's been constantly improving, that is what you need to be focusing on and harping on. And that's what you want to get out into the Internet. You do not want to get a soundbite on the Internet of you saying that you need money. It sounds like you are short – you're not giving the proper respect to your players that you have right now. Do you think they're not good enough to compete in the SEC? Is that why you need money to pay better players than what you have now? And I'm not insinuating that Mark Stoops necessarily meant that, but with that soundbite, you know, you can go a hundred different ways with it. And that's what you'd be led to believe. As a head coach, these young players are not going to respect you, you know, giving light to Kirby Smart. That's going to make them want to go play for Kirby Smart even more. And you hit the nail on the head. The guys who Georgia is trying to recruit, They're not just good at football. 
that they are competitors and they want to compete. And if they truly believe that they are the best, they are going to be open and excited to go compete with the other best college players in football. And that's just a matter of the fact. So Mark Stoops, you know, shunning his own players and his own program and while building up Kirby Smart, that's a catch-22. You're not going to have guys interested to play for you at Kentucky, and it overshadows all the good things you've done at that school with less talent. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Make sure you leave in the comments what you think Mark Stoops truly meant by the situation and your thoughts on it. Also, let us know what you think about Kentucky going forward. Their season is no, by no means over. They still have a bunch of big games to play. And, you know, Georgia being in their comp in their division is – can they make it to the SEC playoff or SEC championship? I don't know. But let us know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe if you like the video. It helps us out a lot. And we'll see you in the next one.